Hip Hop Was Good. You are tuned in to the Go Getter TV. I'm your host, Demi D Man, and this is another episode of Digging with Demi Man. I'm very excited. This is the fifth episode. I have a special, lovely guest by way of ATL up in the city. Yo, thank you for coming. Thank no, you for thank coming. you for having me. I'm excited. I'm down, I'm so here we are with Takara Goes Vinyl. So, you know, let them know how did you get your start as a collector and how, how long you've been collecting, things like that. Okay, so December 21st, uh, 2019 is actually my vinyl anniversary. So <laughs> That's a set, though. Yeah, I know the date, date. Nice, so, nice. Um, actually, so I'm really big into mental health. I've been doing therapy for like two, three years. So my therapist, I was a former college athlete. I played basketball in college. So my therapist told me, you know, you take everything too serious. You need to get you a hobby. So do something you don't like that you're not going to take for real that you enjoy. So that way you can take your mind off things. Cool. So I've been in love with music since I was a child. Um, my husband actually had bought me a turntable for Christmas two, uh, two years ago, almost two years ago. And that was the start. He bought me a turntable, bought me two records, and that was the start to my journey. And then, like, immediately that day, I was like, let's go to the record store. Let me go buy some more. And I ain't looked back since. <laughs> nice, nice. I think, I think that's a good way to start because some people do it backwards. They have all this vinyl, and then they have no way to play it. Right. So that's a good way to start, start with the, the record playing. So with that being said, though, we're going to start with the first piece out of the three talk pieces. So I'll let them know how we setting it off. Okay. So my first talk piece. If I have to describe myself in an album, it's going to be Crazy Sexy Cool with TLC. Oh, um, this, one, this one stands out the most because like, I remember my first time actually hearing the album. I was at my uncle's house when I lived in Florida in third grade. And one thing I always say is every album has a story. So I was attracted by the cover of this. Like I thought it was super cool. I put it in and I just fell in love ever since. I've probably purchased the actual CD of this probably three times. Um, the vinyl, this was one of my first vinyls I bought for myself too as well. So um, yeah, if I had to describe myself in one album, it would definitely be this one. I love TLC. It's a classic too. I'm sure people are aware of this one. This was a, this one took them out of the park with this one right here. Don't go chasing waterfalls. And you know, a RP to left eye, you know, we definitely miss her in the game. Uh, so right there, if you're not aware of this album, make sure you tap in, man. TLC, Legends in the Game. So we're going to move on to the second piece right here. Let them know what you got there. So second piece. Oh, shit. Tupac, all eyes on me. Uh, <laughs> Tupac was my first crush <laughs> when I was younger. So double disc album. Like, I'm a really, really big Death Row fan. I love everything about Death Row. Um, love Dre. I just feel like, for me personally, he ain't going to like me saying this, but, you know, the 90s, they was running things. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Y'all see why we? Y'all see the other piece? You yeah, got. this one I too. I just remember myself like again. Every album has a story. I remember myself being. Uh, I remember saying the curse words on "How do you want it?" Like mm. when I was young, like when my mama would be downstairs, something like that. So I would play it, and then so yeah, this is definitely my one of my talk pieces for sure. Another classic one too. This was big for him too. This was uh, I think this was um, first for, uh, first one out of jail, right? First release. Yeah. Yeah. So this was big for Pac joining the row. Uh, so we're gonna, and I know there's mega pop maniacs, so I know they're gonna like this piece right oh, here. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to the last one out of the three talk pieces. Yeah. So this one, 3LW, this is their self, they self debut album. Um, so this one, this album came out when I was in fifth grade. I got this album for Christmas from my mom, and I actually probably, if I had to tell you about an album I played every single day, I literally play this every day. Literally. So I'm in love with 3LW. They had a little, I think all of them from New York, pretty much New yeah, York, yeah, Jersey. Yeah, New York, Jersey. Yeah, New York, Jersey. So um, this is definitely one of my talk pieces. It's probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, shout out to 3LW because yeah. they don't get too much uh, mention. Before you put it away, too, they don't get too much mention because I'm sure a lot of people don't even know who that is right there. We're right. going to show here. I zoom in on the camera. But that's um. I, I, forgive me, I don't know her actual name. Notori. Notori. Notori and I follow her on the gram too. That's mm -hmm. Notori. She's on Power. She's been on a few other shows too. So she comes from a group in case a lot of people didn't know that. And I'm going to say this too. They had a little situation, but she honestly was the best one. Like, she could sing the best out of all of them. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into this. <laughs> I don't want to get into slander. <laughs> but I don't believe she really, she was more like a personality, right? Like, she I like that too. Oh, I like all of them. Yeah, had swag. They, had yeah swag. they definitely did. And it was for their 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 audience and their their time. You know that was the black days. The um, 
702 days, they came like after them and all that. Oh night. yeah, this yeah. is when I, this is, like I said, this came when I was going into middle school. So that's when I really, you know, Three Little Women is what it stood for. So that's when three I really felt like I was getting grown. Oh, so that was, that was three right there. So the last two, I like, you know, the whole thing I love, I enjoy doing this show. I enjoy meeting collectors. Again, this is toxic. Takara goes vinyl, excuse me. So the last two pieces though are always interesting. So the fourth one, I, I call it the flex piece, show off piece for other vinyls, collectors that have them drooling on, on what you may have. So let them know how you flexing on them out here. I got you. So I'm a flexing. He actually did. I don't think he recognized this one, which he might not because he's still an independent artist. But this is Brent Fayaz. The AM Paradox. Oh, so oh. this is his first EP. This is I haven't even opened this. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for six songs mm. for this. <laughs> so it actually, um, I think there's maybe five hundred made. Five hundred of these. That's the move now with yeah. the with the indie scene. So he, where's he from? Brent is actually from Brent's from DC. Yeah, okay. Brent's from DC actually. So this one, I actually got this in a local record shop in Atlanta. Um, they had posted it on uh, IG, and I literally called them immediately, like, gotta have it, because I've never seen it in store before. So you can only get this like on Discogs, eBay, and I'm pretty sure it's, it'll run you probably about 200. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how did you come across this music? Um, Joe Budden Podcast. Okay, so Joe Budden Podcast. Joe breaking all the you, know, you know how he does the sleeper, the sleeper song. Yeah, he, he okay. does the sleeper he song. He played a Brent song um, on the sleeper song, and that was it. Okay, so, so I've been listening to Brent since like 2017. Uh, so what's the the name of the EP for them one more time? A M Paradox. Okay, mm -hmm. so shout out to Brent, man. Definitely, yeah. you got supporters out here. In case you're not aware, they out here, dope ass cover too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flexing on y'all. So we got the fifth and final piece. What I call the show up, no, the prize possession, excuse me. This is the prize possession. And I'm sure you have more than one, but whichever oh, yeah. one you selected today is dope. And you can let them know. Honestly, you talked about, I do have, I, 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 I could be, you know, in my feelings right now because this is like one of probably my favorite all time hip hop albums. But um, Life After Death, Biggie, um, I, this, this. <laughs> It gives me cold chills just talking about it, to be honest. But um, so this is, so I love this one. So me and my dad are really close. Um, th my daddy put me on to this album. Nice, like, nice. I can remember, like, being as young as I was, like, rapping this whole thing. Like, my favorite songs on here, probably, um, you know, Body Till Somebody Kills You. Dope song. That's probably Dope my song. favorite. Uh, of course, I love the dough. Um, Dope song featuring Jay-Z right there. Notorious Thugs. Love that. That was like, a big moment too. Oh that features yeah. Bone Thug too. I'm just in case, in case y'all don't know, because I know there's certain there's certain young wet behind the ears people out there. But <laughs> this is a classic. Oh yeah. So this one, I this is probably this is one of early record I bought too as well, and I still keep it in pretty good shape. Great, great condition. Yeah. Great condition. This one, I looked for this one for a while. I couldn't really find it, but no, I, this is my favorite, one of my favorite albums of all time. So like, definitely love this. This is my prize possession. Easy. Nice, no doubt. The Notorious B.I.G. R.I.P. Brooklyn's Finest, one of the best to do it. Uh, when this came out, this was a big moment. It was a big moment. I think he got, he got, he went from Ready to Die, which was really edgy and street, mm -hmm. to coming a little more polished, changed up his image a little bit. I won't oh, even yeah. say changed up, just more polished. It was more, he seemed more happy too. So I was happy to see this big before he passed, unfortunately. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna say, which, which side, because I know, it's, it's a, which side would you say is, your, is the, the better side? You mean as far as, as just far as um, I don't know how they do it with the vinyl. It's, uh, uh, it's a three. It's oh, three. It's three, three LP. See, this is three LP. Like okay. This is a, a double vinyl. This is a double disc too on CD. Anyway, okay. but uh, I always favored the, the the first half. Really? Yeah, with the CD. I'm probably gonna say I'm probably gonna say the second, but just because of probably miss you, just because miss you and um, miss you and notorious thugs. Which side has last days? Last days is that was my side. Oh, side B. Side B. Okay. So first, the first one, first is. Ah, cool, cool, cool. First is. So listen, I, get in touch with all of these. But I'm gonna say, man, if you haven't heard, matter of fact, yeah, get in touch with all of these because these <laughs> all, no, they all dope. We got Tupac, yeah. we got Biggie, Three LW definitely had their moment and they definitely caught, uh, made a dent in the game and uh, paved their way. TLC, just forget about it. Always. And Brent's doing big things, being an independent artist and, and selling pieces for a buck, you know what I mean, 500. So oh, yeah. That's, that's what's up. <laughs> Share. No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to 
<laughs> so this is another episode of Digging with Demi. I'm your host, Demi D. This is where hip hop lives. I'm Mr. Everywhere. You never there. To Clara, thank you so much for coming through. Again, like I said, I came across her page, which is a dope page. She has a lot of a lot of vinyl, a lot of good pictures too. A lot of mm -hmm. I see you out and about too. So it's not like not to knock anyone, because I see that people, you know, they have um, a setup where they usually take theirs. Yep. Mm -hmm. I see yours varies, and it's, it's a lot of different places. So uh, that's yeah. dope. So definitely follow her. All the info will be in the description as well. Hip hop, we out of here. I mean, you got any closing words you want to give to the people? Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Follow me to Cargo's Vinyl. He talked about my page. So one thing I'm gonna get on that really quick. He always talked. Well, he talked about how like a lot of people just do their setup. You don't never see anybody's face in the vinyl community. I just wanted to stand out more and just be like, you know, make it like more like a lifestyle. Like one thing I try to do is like if I'm in New York taking pics, I try to do New York artists with my pics. Uh, yeah, just yeah. stuff like that. Just have my own little style with it. So yeah, go follow me to Cargo's Vinyl on IG. We out of here. <laughs>